We're talking about the role of security awareness manager. So most of our listeners, I think, understand the concept of security awareness as a security principle that, you know, don't, don't click the pizza coupon. Don't, yep. you know, don't accept, <laughs> uh, don't, don't open the, uh, the spreadsheet you're not expecting and so forth. But um, what is the work that a security awareness professional does on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah. So the security awareness professional is going to be focused on people. Right. Mm -hmm. A lot of the individuals that I work with here at Optiv are focused on, you know, the technology and making sure we're keeping environments safe and secure. But we're really focusing the security awareness managers that I work with and my team, we're focusing on the individuals themselves, um, you know, and kind of making sure that the organization isn't only relying on that technology. Um, you know, unfortunately, cybersecurity is not taught like reading, writing, and arithmetic, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, as we would hope it was. So, you know, you just mentioned that uh, don't click on the pizza coupon, don't click on the Excel doc, right? Mm -hmm. Not everybody knows that. Right. And that's the thing that I have to keep reminding our security awareness managers that we work with is that you, we can't take for granted what we know that other people don't, right? It's our job to bridge that gap um, between the knowledge that the security team, the IT team, you know, that they have to the end users. I think the other thing that they do, security awareness managers do most days is working with other facets of the organization. So mm -hmm. you have your stakeholder, your CISO, CIO, security VP that owns the program, and, and they're often the budget owner. And they have an idea of what they want their program to look like. But then your HR department or your learning and development team is the one that kind of rolls out the training, right? So you're working with them. They may even own the calendar of training initiatives. So mm -hmm. you might have to be the go-between between them. Um, you've also got your marketing department that probably controls internal communications. So if you're sending out things to your end users, you're going to have to be working with them. Um, IT and security, they're going to have most of the data that you're going to be analyzing to make sure that your program is, is going in the direction that you want. And then, you know, if you have any GRC stakeholders, like if you have to be compliant um, for, you know, any PCI or HIPAA or anything like that, you're going to have to work with them to make sure that what you're doing in your program meets all of their needs as well. So it's really bridging a lot of gaps. So maybe I do need an industrial <laughs> Yeah, design yeah. degree gonna, to be able super, to do that. We're going to need some sort of information like super highway here. We're, yeah, we're find one pretty much. Right. Um, so, so, um, you know, speaking of, of the sort of managerial aspect of it, uh, this obviously implies the presence of security awareness employees that you're in charge of. So mm -hmm. in comparison with the bridge building that you're doing as, a, as, as the person's doing a security awareness manager, uh, what, what is the sort of division of, of work between the people that a security awareness manager is managing and what, what they're, what the ground level people are doing? Great. I, great question. So I think what, um, I think what I do kind of as, as my role at Optiv is a little bit different than the average security awareness manager, but I think okay. it's important to talk about both. Right. Um, so my team, I have content developers, um, you know, multimedia specialist and such, a regular security awareness manager may have one person or they may actually have to go out and find that content, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I have the, that team that develops that. Um, platform managers. So mm -hmm. for me, I have a team that manages an, a learning management system, an LMS, as well as simulated phishing. Um, in an organization, that person may reside on another team. Now they're an extension of your team, right? Because you have to work with them to get content rolled out, um, make sure people are taking it, make sure the communications are there, time frame that you need, all of that kind of stuff. Um, same thing with simulated phishing. As the awareness manager, you may run that, but it also may be a function of IT and you work yeah. with them to deploy that. Um, you know, I'd mentioned earlier about working with different um, people within Optiv, some of those mm -hmm. different lines of business. Um, when you are a security awareness manager and you may need some subject matter expertise outside of your group, a lot of our a lot of our clients have program managers or project managers that do that outreach. Um, smaller organizations, the awareness manager does that themselves, but when you get into the Fortune 500, they have project managers that are doing that for them. So there's lots of different roles within a security awareness team. Um, 
but that manager is the one kind of bringing the cohesion to all of it, right. making sure the consistency is there, that you're meeting the needs and you're listening to feedback, but making sure that, you know, you're still on the right course, making sure the ship is still moving forward. New episodes of the Cyberwork podcast are available every Monday at 1 p.m. Central. And don't forget to check out our hands-on training series, Cyberwork Applied. Each week, expert InfoSec instructors teach you a new cybersecurity skill and show you how that skill applies to real-world scenarios. Go to infosecinstitute.com learn to stay up to date on all things cyberwork.